Have you announced the bus yet? In this video. So I think that should be where you meet off, because that's kind of way more exciting to, to people than me going back to grad school. So welcome back, guys. We're getting a bus. It arrives this week. Uh, this is not it, since it's already here. Uh, this is a project build that we did. Yeah, this super excited. We're going to be schooly people. But what the reason we're going with the bus is because we're no longer going to be in the banana van. Uh, it served us well. 38 states, four countries. Yeah. Uh, the reason we went to four countries instead of just two or three like most people do is... Uh, we were in Guatemala getting our ESL certification. So we are both qualified English as a second language teachers. And I'm doing that online. Um, Dan is not doing it right now. I actually did it like with a license before I had one, and ever since I've had my official license, I haven't taught a single class. No, so I was doing it until I was official. Now that I'm official, I'm like, ah. I thought he was pretty good at it. I got to watch some of his classes, but it wasn't. It's not really his passion, right? You would mm -hmm. say this is more what you wanted. Was it to all the ploy to go to Guatemala? Pretty much. I mean, let's be honest. I really wanted to get this certification, and I am loving using it. I've got a class tonight. I've got several regular students that I see multiple times a week. I'm loving it. He just wanted to go to Guatemala, frankly. Let's just be real. Yeah. And I wanted him in class with me. So. So, considering Rachel is using her <laughs> her certificate and she's killing it, she's teaching people all over the world. Um, she's not exactly going to school to be an ESL teacher, but something even more advanced. There was a lot of overlap to the common person like me. People in the fields would say there's differences, but to me, a lot of I can see a lot of overlap, and so like when she did, said she wanted to do this, I was like, that's, "Yeah, that's perfect for you." No, so I am officially back in school. I've been back in school for a couple weeks now. I have my bachelor's already, but it's not something related to this master's. So I have to take a year of leveling classes just to get into a grad program, and I am going to school to be a speech and language pathologist. So basically, I'll be doing speech therapy. You can also do like things with feeding and. There's a bunch of other things that goes with it, but my goal really will be to work with kids about the same age as I'm doing with ESL. Um, also, I hope to do it online, but it will be doing speech therapy, and I hope to also keep doing ESL classes online because I really love, I love both. I, I think I will love both. Yeah, and it's something that's like super important. Like, I myself, I know I should enroll in some because I still have self-conscious feelings of my speech impediments. They're not as bad as it used to be. You went to speech therapy, right? Yeah, that's what my mom tells me. I don't remember it. <laughs> um, so imagine how bad I would have been. Um, <laughs> I've mostly just learned how to avoid the words that I can't say, but sometimes it's hard to really say the, so you, how do you bypass the word? word? Um, or Rachel. That one's easy, I call you bed. It's true, but oh, you know, those, those R's, and then you married someone whose name starts with an R. What? So, I can avoid a lot of it intentionally instead of just practicing, but sometimes I can't. And so, it's really cool that she's going to help kids get past that. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So, while I am in school for the next several years, and even after that, um, Dan's going to be doing something pretty exciting. So, we're going to go back to where we originally when we went on the road. We want to be traveling around helping people. If you check out our original logo, hopefully I can make it pop up here and be cool. Um, it actually showed the Sprinter van with the trailer with the equipment outside. Uh, and at that time I talked with our logo designer, JP, ab about Moco Wo. And he's like, I really like that name. But we ended up going with Banana Van Adventures because that was just fun to say. It was. Uh, but Moco Wo is Mobile Community Workshops. Uh, it will go past woodworking, so it's workshops. Uh, we're going to not only teach you how to do the cabinetry, or hanging ceiling, or putting floors in, or building cabinets. I didn't say that, but we can do that twice. Um, also going to teach you from running wire, to hooking up solar, to plumbing. Plumbing's probably my favorite. It's just... What? Who says that? New plumbing is probably my favorite. <laughs> we'll say new plumbing. <laughs> Uh, I was actually a plumber in Texas. Uh, most people probably don't know that. Uh, that was my first job out of high school as I went to Texas and became a plumber. Uh, this is a lot easier than doing apartment complexes. Being two tiny home living, a van, schoolies, tiny homes. 
or gypsy wagons. I don't know if they get their own classifications. But it also expands into what Rach is going to be doing. So for people like me have self doubts, confidence, lack of confidence. Uh, self doubt, yeah. Of speaking some words, the workshops you'll be able to start doing will be ESL. So like if we know we're going to be in an area doing a, a build series, the inside the bus could be like a small little studio for her to be teaching the kids or, or adults, teaching people practicing English, the hard words, mm -hmm. um, while I'm outside doing workshops about construction and how to build tiny homes. And so that's one reason we're going with a bus and we're going with a bus. We'll get the, it's like 38 foot. It arrives this week. Uh, we're excited about that. Yeah, very excited. But it is going to be, like the bedroom is going to be bigger than <laughs> the van. It's going to be weird, but it, it, I think it's going to be really awesome. Yeah, so really excited about that. But Moco World is going to actually be a nonprofit as well. Because, yeah, we're going around um, helping people out. And people occasionally wanted just to support us. And so some people would give us a little bit of money. Yeah. Uh, but becoming a nonprofit, it allows more people to feel more comfortable because we'll have a board of advisors to look and see how we're spending money. It's really exciting that we'll, we'll charge for us like some builds, but hopefully a lot of the workshops will be like such a minimal fee, but basically be a fee of just so we don't have a thousand people show up. My voice does not project that well. And just safety, it is equipment. So we need to limit how many people. And that's probably over too much information. I mean, but essentially the goal is really to help people yep. and, and money not being the total issue. Same thing with my classes. It's like, I really just want to help people gain confidence in their speaking, whether it be through ESL or speech therapy. That's my goal is to help people feel confident about their communication in English uh, because I just don't have another language skill at that level. And Dan wants to help people gain confidence in their builds, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Anything else we should mention? Nope. Board game may be coming out this year too. Oh yeah, that's right. One boy that I taught in the word optimistic, which is super advanced actually. And from then on, every single class he said, I'm optimistic. <laughs> so cute. That is pretty cute. Yeah. So I want to partner with more artistry, talented people than I am. I love art, but I am not the best artist. <laughs> So we just want it to be a name that can grow past us, but that's not what the channel is actually going to be called. Uh, the channel, we're just going to switch it from the messy journey to, we don't know exactly what's available, but it'll just more be my name. That way, since Rachel's not going, she's going to be focused on school. She'll pop in and out, but as you can see, <laughs> she hasn't been in the channel a lot anyway, so. True. That way, when I post things, it reflects me more so than it reflects <laughs> us. So, or that way it reflects me and not the business, um, just because it has been daunting to like, even Banana Van Adventures, I always felt like I was representing more than just me. So if I, oops, it wasn't just oops and me, <laughs> it was oops and her, it was oops and just more. Yeah. And so I want to be able to oops on my account. And if I fail, if I say something wrong, it's on me and not on anybody else. I'm sure you won't oop. <laughs> so she's not going anywhere. We're still together in case there's going to be any rumors of why the name change. Yeah, nope. that's true. <laughs> no, it's just, it allows me to oops and not have to worry so much. And it allows me not to feel guilty that I'm... So that's what the name change is about. I think that's it. We covered our plans, Mokowo, school. The one in Florida, you'll get to see the shower and the office set up. Um, but yeah, if just subscribe to the channel and you'll see it all happening either way, but you'll get a walk through it at these festivals. Yeah. And disclaimer, I mean, we're, we're doing this on a budget again, like we did the van. Um, we still are on a budget. We still, I mean, obviously it's not like we're making bukus of money over here. Um, so, you know, whatever Dan's putting together, it might be unpainted for a while. It might be, you know, it probably will be right. Mm -hmm. And so if you are watching it and you're like, Hmm. This guy should paint it. We're probably working on it. <laughs> we, and we are in the process because MoCoWo is a non-profit. Uh, we're in the process of doing all that paperwork. So if you're just like, hey, I want to support y'all going around educating people, that it could be a tax write-off for you by the end of the year. Um, 
Yeah. So that's what we're, we're working towards because we've been on the road and what would limit us from volunteering more and educating more is that stupid thing of money. True, yeah, we've been, I mean, working a remote job is really cool. I really love it, but it's still work. I mean, I still have a set schedule. I just, I'm about to have to go to work right now and I'll be there until, you know, tonight. So on times when we're wanting to travel, we can't move, you know, during those days. We're just stationary and stuck wherever we're at with a good Wi-Fi connection and working, but we're still blessed to have even that, of course. Mm -hmm.